guys, welcome back. This is Shauna with Making Everyday Magic. If you are new here, we are a homeschooling family of four. We are in our fourth year of homeschooling. We have two kiddos and next year we will Next year we will be entering kindergarten and fourth grade. Today we are going to be talking about a little bit of changes that we are making to our next homeschool year, the 2021-2022 school year. So, stay tuned, guys. Today, I want to talk with you about spelling. Guys, before we go any further, please scroll down, hit the big red subscribe button, turn on the bell for notifications, and give this video a thumbs up. So, here's the deal. I am a pretty good speller. I would say I'm above average speller. I don't think anyone else in my house is. So, what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to fix that. Let me tell you, we started our homeschool journey with our oldest one uh, when she was kindergarten and it was a, the program that we were using at the time, it was a traditional, like here's the 10 words and you practice them all week and then you do like a spelling test. That did not work for us. Um, from there, when we switched to Timberdoodle, as always, the links are down below. Uh, when we switched to Timberdoodle, we switched to Spelling You See. And the first level that we used uh, is the Wild Tales, um, and it's like animal facts, which is super fun. Uh, however, and she's done, I would say she's done pretty well with that uh, because she can get most everything right by the end of the week. However, with our second kiddo, I am thinking about switching it up a bit and we will be incorporating, adding to All About Spelling. Now, here's the deal. I like spelling UC very much. I think it's so fun um, that you have, let me, let's just tell you how it works. Okay, so what happens is at the beginning of the week, there is a passage and Wild Tales is about animals and then this one is Americana and so it's about America. At the beginning of the week, there is a passage that they go through and they color code. And I am gonna link down below. Um, I did not know that they made these, but Crayola makes erasable colored pencils. They came in our timber doodle kit to use with these and they're amazing. Something I then later found that I thought would be a little bit easier for us to use is erasable highlighters. I'm gonna link all that down below if you need those Amazon links when they help a ton. So, Spelling UC goes through every week. And what it does is it focuses on different letter chunks and different kind of rules. And so you start by, you color code them. There's vowel chunks, consonant chunks, glossy R chunks, all those things. Um, and then as it goes on, it gets more complicated and you're adding in more of them. So you start and you read it and you color code it on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. And then on Thursday, you do it from dictation but with help. So like I dictate it and then she can ask if she has any confusion. And then on Friday, it's strictly from dictation. And so I like that. I like the copy work every day because they color code and then copy on the next page. I like the copy work and I like the fun facts and I like the dictation. However, I do not feel like beyond memorizing what she needs to know for the week, I don't feel like the spelling rules, because the rules are never actually articulated in this, I don't feel like the spelling rules are sticking as far as being able to apply them to other things. So I was in a little bit of a pickle and unsure what to do. And that is when we enter All About Spelling. So you guys know I have raved a million and a half times about the All About Reading program. If you don't believe me, right up here. Uh, I love All About Reading and we've used several of their levels now and I love them. I love the approach. I love the phonics approach. I like that kids can then decode whatever it is they need to know. I like the rules. I like, I love the multi-sensory approach because they hear it, they see it, they do it. Um, the, I mean, there's very few things that I don't actually like about the All About Reading program. I figured, let's try all about spelling. Now, here is my plan. I am going to start this with my kindergartner next year because she will have completed all about reading level one, which is what they recommend. And I'm going to have the big sister pop in and hang with us here. And so she can learn those kind of 
phonetically based, very simple spelling rules so that she can get a little bit of that foundational recovery. Whereas my little one will have just the foundation and the phonetic rules. Now, I am not switching our spelling curriculum because I really like those other aspects of spelling you see. And so I'm going to do both. We will be doing both. I'm unsure if my kindergartner will be starting with spelling you see because I don't think that it has the same fun facts and the same dictation and things at that age. But I'm going to look into it because again, I really love, love, love the spelling you see program. I just feel like for my big kid, we need a different approach. And being that I do, I, I love all about reading. I figure giving all about spelling a shot isn't a bad idea because I mean, why not? Why not also enforce the rules, but also learn it in whole? I think it can be really good. So we're gonna give it a try. We're gonna, you know, just, just give it a shot. Again, I love the all about reading. Now, some of the reservations that I have. Guys, if you are between the two and you live in a small space, uh, maybe all about spelling is not for you. We have a two by three whiteboard with all of the magnetic tiles. It is giant. Granted, you can get the app and just use the app, totally an option. Uh, it, it, there's a, a bag, a spelling chart of cards, a box, the book, there's little things that you move around there. There are a lot of pieces to the all about spelling. So you, and same thing with all about reading guys, all about it. They have everything all about has all the things. Uh, so keep that in mind. Whereas spelling, you see there is the teacher's handbook and then two of these and it goes one weeks one through 18. So there are 36 weeks of lesson, well, lessons in, in spelling you see. And I think there's only like 24 lessons in all about reading or all about spelling, better yet. So that is different. Something that I have a huge complaint with this. Okay, let me tell you, huge complaint with this. These things need to be spiral bound. And yes, I could go get them spiral bound, but being that the kiddos are supposed to uh, do this from dictation, the fact that this is its not perforated, oh, maybe it is perforated. Uh, the fact that this is on the opposite page for them to see or is impossible for them to write on when you flip it back is a pain in the hind end. So I'm gonna need you guys to just go ahead and spiral bound this because that would make me like, so much easier. Something else I have a complaint about. Let me see if I can find the exact right thing here. When you are checking the lessons, okay? And there are, you know, it starts out with just a couple of color coding, so it's not so bad. But as you get into the later lessons and there is so stinking much color coding, look at this, okay? So stinking much color coding. As you get into the later lessons, do you see this down here? 30 right there. Look at all the color coding. Look at all the color coding. One tiny, tiny, tiny piece. They would make my life so much easier when looking over this is if these lines matched up with these lines because they don't. They do not start and end. Like this line, the first line of 30 down here is not word for word the same one as up here because this one ends on drilled and this one ends on hammered. This one has an entire extra sentence in it. If they just lined up, literally checking this to make sure she's color coded it correctly would be so much easier, so much easier and so much faster. So serious complaint here. You oh, spelling, you see people need to, it's ridiculous. Okay, very hard, very hard. Little details like that would make a huge difference for me. Okay guys, so that's what you need to know about the spelling you see comparison and the compare contrast for all about spelling. I'm super excited. Yes, I'm planning to use both. Yes, it's insane. Yes, I will quit if it becomes too hard because I'm not a masochist. So that is how I feel about that. I hope that this has helped you in some way. Both of the programs are fantastic. So I am not by any means abandoning spelling you see. I literally am just adding to it and planning to do both because both of them are awesome. I have not used all about spelling yet, but I feel like it's gonna transition very well into being one of our family subjects. And so just kind of like a little skill refresher, I think it's gonna be really great. I do plan to use the giant whiteboard for my little one and then use the tablet app for my big kiddo because I think that the, that will just suit their skills very well. Uh, one of the things that All About Spelling does, and it's all about reading as well, they do this thing where you build 
uh, with the magnetic tiles, you build a word and then it'll be like big, B-I-G. And then it sh it'll have you go through and like swap the B for a P. And so it shows you the connection between the words. And I think that that is just a fantastic approach for that. You just literally switch one tile at a time to change the word into something completely different. And I think that's amazing. So I hope that you found any of this helpful, entertaining, or informative. I know that it is coming up on buying season. So I hope that this helps you settle either any debates or answer any questions you might have. Um, if you found any of it uh, useful, please scroll on down, hit that big red subscribe button, turn on the bell for notifications, and give this video a thumbs up. For those of you who have stayed through to the end, you think it's crazy? I'm planning to do, as of now, I'm planning to do two histories and two spellings, which might be banana town. Cause I'm, all, right, I'm also right now kind of a little bit focused on doing less. So we'll see, we'll see how it works out. I'll keep you posted. You guys know, I'll be honest with you.